All right, buddy. This okay. day's for you guys. Kick Thank ass you. with it. Enjoy it. Remember, Ken Kraft, they got game. There in the VFW hat, <laughs> Thank you. is right, a key everybody. player right. at this Veterans Get Day some, event. Give me some troops. Right. Will do. All right. It's not a role he dreamed of. Thank you guys for being here today, though. But now that he's here, thank you very much. He gives it all he has. We're really grateful to have him. He's a really, really good guy here. This is a phenomenal thing. I cannot. Today he's helping honor a veteran family he <laughs> had a hand in choosing. Let's go, Aaron, Come on. They'll go home with an almost new car <laughs> for free. Holy cow! <laughs> it's extremely awesome, yeah. Oh boy. The journey for Ken Kraft began 27 years ago. What do you think? Tell they gave me the. When he joined the military. You have anything sharp in your pockets? You gotta hurt me. By the time I met him in 2004, he worked as a jailer for Multnomah County and trained drill sergeants for the Army. He could run a six minute mile and bench press 300 pounds, but he'd never been in combat. That would change in 2005. Learning curve, very steep, very fast, and uh, you know, it's, uh, ask, me in, uh, ask me in two years. One day in Baghdad, mortars fell from the sky. Now, my life was saved because the majority of the mortars hit, the, uh, hit a Connex box and it was a car separating me and the blast is where my injury came in, Pat. It just it took me and it, it hit me so hard it almost knocked me out of my body. It's a feeling it, it feel like my knees were twisted and turned so bad it just it ripped and destroyed everything in there. And this of course the left. He endured 24 yeah. surgeries over the <laughs> next two years including the replacement of both knees. And I was spared, my knees were damaged, and it He came home and refused to believe his military career perfect. was really over, but it was. So I invited the unit to come. Eventually, it's sure. not what you can't do, it's what you can do. He yeah. moved on. Sure. Yeah. Uh, hey, baby. Ken Kraft is now commander of a brand new VFW in Lake Oswego, rallying the troops and fighting for veterans' rights. He's found his purpose again and his passion. And now he encourages other veterans who are struggling to do the same. Thank you. Can I do a hug? <laughs> Thank you so much.